This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, the lives of your favorite celebrities. Thank you for staying with us. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Luo Ritu and Benny Ag. Hi, Elsie. How are you doing? Hi, Ewa. How are you? Hi, Benny. I'm all right. Good. Hi, Elsie. I won't say anything <laughs> at all. <laughs> I reserve my comments. Comment reserved. Yeah, I do. Okay, we're starting with um, one of the most controversial conversations um, right now as T.I. speaks out after his controversial comments about daughter's hymen. Um, in early November, the 39 year old rapper said um, on the Ladies Like Us podcast that he goes to the gynecologist with his 18 year old daughter, Deja, in order to check her hymen. Um, his comments sparked reactions from celebrities and non-celebrities alike. He was guest on Jada Pinkett's Red Table Talk to discuss. So it was a lengthy discussion, right? Mm. I think it was about 23 minutes, if I'm not wrong. And I hope we all had the chance to watch it. Yeah, I saw the video. I saw the mm -hmm. video um, this morning. And I was 101% with TI on everything. He said on this video or initially? On this, on this, well, initially when I heard the story, I didn't, I didn't get a full story, I didn't get a full gist. Mm. You know, but I, I just thought about parenting in the 21st century and what that entails, what that involves. There's, there, there's a whole lot of vice, there's a whole lot of things that could actually ruin a child out there. And I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with a parent trying to ensure that their world is safe in all, in all, in all phase. You know, um, there's some things society has made it seem is the role of the woman alone to do with a girl child. And say, so if I decide to be involved in my, in my daughter's upbringing, by the way, I have a daughter who's two, two plus, um, I change her diapers, I clean her up, I bait her when I have a chance to do that. Mm -hmm. And so if I decide to be actively involved in my daughter's upbringing and check up on all that, nobody should have... Okay, I don't think the conversation really, was know. saying you shouldn't be involved. Yes. No, it was the it was, intention. It was, no, to this is it. It was it was misconstrued that he was actually taking his daughter constantly or frequently for checkups to know that if. That's what he said. That was 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 what he said. he exaggerated. Yeah. Yeah. So he's not saying he did not down, say it. Calm down. Yeah, he said it was embellished. And he, he embellished it, and exaggerated. not somebody else. Not somebody else, else. You know, exactly. So th th it came up as to say he was constantly taking his daughter to go check to be sure that the hymen world is still intact. Mm. But during the interview, he debunked that to say, you know what, it, it was misconstrued. Like you rightly said, okay, it was embellished and exaggerated. By him, you know? by him. <laughs> but it was just like a one of ten. Right? And he was not necessarily the one who booked, booked the doctor's the appointment. The doctor's mm -hmm. appointment. Mm. And the wife, Tiny, was a big part of that appointment. You know, no, it's not the, the wife, whole... the mother of the Oh, sorry, girl but, but Tiny, Tiny was, oh, Tiny no, was not there, okay, yeah. the mother of the child. Mm -hmm. You know, and so for me, this is it. The whole hula baloo about T.I. saying that, but let's even think about it for a moment, and so what if he decides to? Well, so what he decides to, if you're coming from that angle, then even the UN has come out to say this is wrong, and Who is the UN? Are they not people? Okay, okay, so it affects... I mean, the you and the people. You have spoken, they let said, me learn. Okay. So <laughs> he said, I mean, from what the conversation goes on to say, which as a woman or a girl or a lady, I understand it. So you decide to take me to check me. You don't know what what you're doing is doing to my me. mental health mm. or how it makes me feel. She's on the so age. why it doesn't matter? And why you know she feels? Did she you know she feels bad about it? Who? The daughter. Well, I've not heard anything about what the oh, daughter said. Oh, she said liking. Yeah. She, she said it, and she has been liking all comments. And, and of course, she blocked it. him. She blocked him. And they had a conversation mm. on it. Because but back to we are going back to the old story. I think okay. people have given their opinion on mm. what. Um, T.I. said, which is why he came out to clear the air. Um, and the for right him, the good thing he said for me, if, which is not even going by what you said now, is he agreeing that at the time he did not understand the sensitivity of this issue. Yeah. Mm. But right now he, he does, does understand it. Yeah. So if a T.I. can understand that there is a sensitivity attached to this conversation, then I don't think anybody needs to be defending what he said earlier. Because what he said earlier, he has also come out to say he himself embellished it. It, it, it is not right to be the way he said it was. Mm. And he came out to explain the circumstances around it. And conversation went on around that. So many people have um, 
touch on the fact that he has a double standard, a yeah. standard for that, you know, the boy that, that and a standard for the girl. But mm. I'm going to touch on not what Jada Pinkett said. That's what it not is. Not necessarily. He, okay, explained, so, he explained it, Elsie, in that video, mm -hmm. that if his boy should get a girl pregnant. Mm -hmm. Nothing would me. change in the house. How does that affect the household? And truly, how does that affect anything? Well, after... Hold up, hold up. <laughs> but if my daughter should come back home pregnant, mm. I'm sorry, that changes the dynamic of every freaking thing. I don't know, I don't know like, why you're saying so, it, but that's no, it's not, not even right. I don't think the word is double standard. It but is. It's, no, I don't think so. It is. I think he should also hold his sons accountable as much as he's holding his daughter accountable. But that's what he's not well, doing. You are saying you're... double standard in another grammar. You just said the same thing. Yeah. Because you, 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 no, you saying, hold people saying, on different that that statement, that that's, that's double standard. That, that statement still uh -huh. doesn't hold true. If you feel your daughter, if she gets pregnant, comes to the house and it changes the whole dynamic, mm -hmm. you shouldn't allow your son to get another person's daughter pregnant because that will also change the dynamic of, of that family. family. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, if that is what you regard as double standard, mm -hmm. then T.I. also needs to hold his sons accountable that they don't Which change the dynamic. Right. But back to the original story. Because it debunked a lot of things. The, the media exaggerated it. They the made media, it seem... Media, no, 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 no. You're letting it, it all wrong. The media did not exaggerate it. T.I. himself said he exaggerated it. I mean, people... From what he said. People started reacting to what he said. He said. And then he came... It's not, it's not a written interview. It was, it was a spoken a, word. It was a yeah. verbal interview. And yeah. he said mm -hmm. that maybe I have embellished it and exaggerated it a lot for people to think that way. Mm. That was what he said. But that's not the angle I'm looking at. I'm looking okay. at... If you have time, I think we all should be able to watch it at... Red Table Conversation with Jada Pinkett, mm -hmm. because I think what T.I. did, um, I love T.I. a lot from way back, mm -hmm. right? I love his swag. I used to say he has this natural swag and mm -hmm. all that. I like his person, but I feel like this conversation ha um, has started a lot more ripple effect conversation. So mm -hmm. we are having this conversation now on things that are seen as not sensitive to be spoken about. I was watching, um, I think it's Your View now, and someone said hi, man, and the other person on the table was like, oh, no, you can't say that word. And then the dark lady was like, why can't we say the exactly. word? It is part of our body. Exactly. So for a long time, women have been conditioned not to feel safe in their own sexuality. And that is why we are coming out to say, we can call up the parts of our body the way we want to call the parts of our body because it is our body and they are not alien. And the parts I I've, I've want, I've want to get there, I think I should get there now, is when Jada was talking about the standard when it comes to guiding your daughter. So she said something about the man cannot get involved in a certain way when you are guiding your daughter. Yeah. That you have to leave it to the mother. And my question is, what if you are a single father? What happens? I don't think it is right to say, I mean, Jada has years of experience. She's maybe now for her rectable talk, she sees her as the godmother of entertainment Thank in you. Hollywood or whatever. Yes. But I feel like that statement is wrong. I feel like you should... Um, let men and women understand things in the grand scheme of things. Even if you're not going deep, you should be able to have a conversation. You should be able to know where to draw the line. You should be able to know how to educate your children instead of controlling them. So saying that a man should not be involved when it comes to the girl child, and maybe the woman should not be involved when it comes to the boy child, I do not agree with that. That's just my own part of this whole Red Table Talk. But I, I like that the conversation is progressing. And I see that we've not given Ewa a chance to speak on that, so... <laughs> okay, um, for me, I'm mm -hmm. just going to look at it from the double standard part. Mm -hmm. To be honest, it's just wrong that you're comfortable with your 15-year-old son impregnating a lot of... He never older. said he was comfortable. I mean, he, he said, just, he, said no, he didn't have any problem. No, he didn't say that. He Think just said... Tia has always been like that, that he does not have any problem with his son having um, been sexually active. Oh. <laughs> Apart from this interview, that has always been Tia. Mm -hmm. He really does not have any problem with his son being sexually active. Because it won't change the it dynamics change of his family. Of his family. That's a, that has always been a stand. Remember, sorry, sorry, but sorry, then you're sorry, changing darling, someone continue. else's family. Remember he also said mm -hmm. that if any of his child decided to go out there and start having sex, mm -hmm. then you've decided to become an adult. Yeah, which is, why, which is when Jada Pinkett asked mm -hmm. him, yeah. you know, what if so, the result came out and... You realize that he, she lost it. What that would she, you do? She, she's crossed over to being an adult, so she has so to, she take has to have a plan yeah. mm -hmm. and all that. Take responsibility, mm -hmm. which includes financial responsibility. Mm -hmm. You start housing yourself, and I think that is that is fair enough. You know, I'm a hundred and one percent on with you on that thing Jada said, and I totally disagree with Jada. Jada feels like she's a goddess right now, you know. And in that interview, I was saying she she has a mindset, and totally, if if it doesn't align with Jada's mindset, she doesn't agree with it. You know, you don't tell the man that he cannot. You don't tell the man how, where, and when he should be involved in his daughter's life. I was, I was telling you before we came on set that I have, I have a two and a half year old daughter, and I'm involved in her life. 
I bait her, I change her diapers. I mean, she can't take care of her body right now. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's gonna come a point when she becomes aware, self-aware, and she can take responsibility for her body, then I leave her. All I can do, prior to that time, I will educate, I will guide, all right, and then trust at the end of the day, when she comes to the place of self-awareness and taking responsibility, what I've done before that time, she knows what to do. She makes a decision based on that. Mm. But you just don't come on and say, because I am a man, I can't be involved in my daughter's life and upbringing her yes, sexuality. Okay. Yeah. I know we have yeah. a lot to say, but we need to move on. But before we move, move on, I would like to ask the same question T.I. asks, and it's not for us to answer, it's for everybody, even those watching, to pick on that and reflect. Mm. What is the role of fathers in society? Because it's looking like we are beginning to say, give women more voice, give women more voice, but take away the voices of the men. So what exactly is their role in the society right now? What is that definition of feminism again by <laughs> T.I.? You have to watch it, know. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the next story. Angela Courier is busy throwing subs on social media and while we are trying to figure out who these subs are for here is what she said um, hash, um, quotes you can have all the talents in this world but if you don't have good character you can't stay in that industry for a long time um, blessed week ahead hashtag it pain them Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, first and foremost, I don't know how many people in the industry with awesome character are going by what they display on social media. Mm -hmm. But then, character is relative, right? That's my, that, mm -hmm. like when I saw this, that's exactly my question. I mean, with the way they are always calling each other out, always dragging each other. I mean, mm -hmm. so tell so me what is the, the good other. character. <laughs> and they are still me. in the industry. <laughs> Uh, and they're still and they're doing well. I mean, mm -hmm. they're early. So, <laughs> what is she saying exactly? But yeah, I think this is a shit to someone. Someone. Mm, and I think I. You know who? Yeah, but you want to speak I'm not sure. Ah, uh, no, because I'm not sure. It's probably not the person. Okay. But I think the only person, the only drama queen right now is Stone Todike, and mm -hmm. I think she's probably referring to Stone Todike. Mm -hmm. And Stone Todike is doing well on her own. I mm -hmm. mean, most people that cause this drama, they're actually A-list actress. And, uh, they are well, doing well. Tonto has not done a lot of movies, but then I would not say it is because she is not interested. Uh, she 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 has not gotten roles. Yes, yeah, because she's not I mean, interested. I mean, the actually. industry is even at a place where there is no exact mm. system that can stop a Tonto from being in a movie. She can right. try to produce a movie to be in it. Right. So you know, I think that's not her priority. And if she's the one, if she's the owner of this sub, then it doesn't really hold water. Mm. Benny, I agree. So, <laughs> so making movies and many movies is not Tonto's priority. Yeah. Please don't exactly it's a priority right there. Well. We need to find, we need to problem, find out. Browsing. We need to find out. <laughs> I don't have much to say about this, but mm -hmm. can we have a picture of that lady back up again? What's her name again? Okore? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I just sip and see today? I think I think she 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 looks good. She, she's got a banking buddy. I like her. Wow. wow. Okay, it's time for a quick break. But when we return, <laughs> we definitely have more to discuss. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. Like, I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we spill all the teas. A lady who says her name is Juliet Oluji Ehimere claims Flavor is the father of her three-year-old daughter. According to her, she met Flavor in 2015, after which she gave birth to the child. She says all attempts to contact the singer have been ignored. She has also said she is ready to go for a DNA test, as this is no publicity stunt or clout chasing. She's genu she genuinely wants her daughter to be taken care of by her father. Mm. Okay. Flavor wa mama. No wow, we should miss something. And when I when I saw this. Oh, he's always with the miss. Yeah, right? I was expecting that to be miss. And now sometimes brown, one nice stand something and I'm like, can well. Resort to long affairs or long long time relationships. Um on this one. Twenty fifteen. Yeah. Mm. Let's go ahead. <laughs> 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 
On this one, yeah, I feel like flavor. If you, if truly, you, you're the father of the child. You need to take responsibility. Might, you know, you, it needs to, might not know. It, yeah, now that is knowing. Just come and submit yourself for a DNA test. That's because what I'm saying. Now that is knowing. Can't even come remember. out, get a DNA test done. If you're the father, take, I mean. That girl deserves everything yeah, she every does. other daughter is getting from him, to be mm. honest. And That's I just want to say that people know. should stop making babies when they know they don't want to be with each other or they don't want babies. Or uh, stop making babies with people that you know they are not ready to take Sometimes babies just come. And if you don't want to do the abortion, which is illegal in Nigeria, then you don't have a choice. That's how I mean, baby. protect yourself if you okay, don't want... Yeah, that that's the thing. We'll have Pro to that's, sense, right? that's exactly where I'm going when I mean that. Stop making babies with... Protect huh? yourself. At the end of the day, you can't keep coming up every day and say, oh, I'm pregnant for this person, and then after three years, this person does not even know that you have a child for him. Let, let's be honest. Mm. It's, it's just not fair at the end of the day. Mm. After three years, you're just coming that, oh, now I, I have a daughter for you, blah, blah, blah. It's not easy that way. I mean, he has his life set already, and you're just... When he was having sex, that, I mean, see, I talked about it. Mm -hmm. When you are ready to have sex, then you should be ready to be responsible. Okay. So if this is truly his child, it means that of he had course. protected sex. Of, I'm not, so I'm whether not he has his life wait, wait, wait. set out or not, not, that's not even in the conversation. Hold on, hold on. I'm mm -hmm. not blaming now. I'm not saying it's her fault that she has a baby. That's mm -hmm. why I said people need to stop. When I mean people, the two people involved, involved. in... Having sex, you need to stop no, making babies. No, where I came was when you said he has his life set out and this is coming up. I'm like, if it's his child, I'm just saying that he's not aware. Exactly. The moment you're pregnant, I think you should have just got him involved. She's no, been trying yeah. to reach him. She's been trying to reach him. Should From have the done, story. Should have done this. She I mean, has three done years it now. Ago. I mean, no, no, no. Sometimes you want to be patient and hope that with time he will read his messages. He will get to understand that we need to have a conversation. But if this is the last option. This is when I think you can take it because I, I don't believe in bringing everything to social media. Mm. So if she has tried a lot to follow other means, whether reaching his manager via email, DMs, and he didn't go through, then he, she has the right to take this last option. I think. No, I mean, this is very okay. It's, for, when it comes to stuff like this, I feel like it's okay for you to call the person out if you can't reach that person. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that I feel she'd have done this like long time ago. Long time ago. Now this okay. is it. Let me, let me say something here, right? You don't know what effort She's she put in over the years, 2015 to 2019. That's it's like almost time, four, four over years. four years now. Mm -hmm. All right, she she may have established contact. Um, she would have gotten ignored. Now this one I'm going to say to her, right? If she has proofs of charts, conversations, put it out there. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's easy. We're living in the 21st century. It's a DNA testing it to prove true or false. I of mean, course. Flavor cannot deny it if that baby is really his. You know, apparently you can tell she's struggling. She's not necessarily probably having a good, though she says she's not a gold digger. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, people should take responsibilities for their action. I don't know what happened. 2015 is so recent. I mean, maybe it was a, a one night stand. Probably he was. Doesn't even matter, if, even if it's a, a yeah, one second saying. stand. Um, <laughs> maybe he was drunk or something. Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to be nice here. What I want to say, mm -hmm. you know. But I'll just let that slide. Now, when you, when you, <laughs> when you have sex with people, you don't, you don't have it in mind that you want to make babies. Of I mean, for all the time, for most of the time, you do have sex. It's not uh, to make babies. You it's but you need to know it. that if you have unprotected sex with somebody, the yes. person, that the person will get pregnant. It. So it, it behoves both parties involved mm -hmm. to take responsibility and That's do what it's right. Thing. And so if you're going to go ahead and have unprotected sex, sorry, sir, ma, you, ma, you'll be pregnant. Sir, you're going to have a baby. Now, this is not the first time celebrities have been accused of having babies mm -hmm. and they're refusing to claim it. I remember one the time... The video is yet to respond to the... Is it Ibadan baby? Yeah, the Ibadan baby. Um, <laughs> Ice Prince of Mani also was superior. He was like, someone came out to say um, she has a baby for Ice Prince. Mm -hmm. Ice Prince actually... Even Bonner Boy. Yeah. Ice Prince actually mm, yeah. refuted it and said that baby was not his. Then after... A few years mm -hmm. after a year or so, he came back to accept that the baby was his. Mm -hmm. Can you, imagine? you know, so I think celebrities are in that habit. Maybe you go out for shows, you don't know, you're sleeping with the one now because you're so stoned or, or drunk. You can't keep putting yourself in this kind of situation. Yeah. You know, and so at the end of the day, the DNA testing is proper. And it's important. It's very important at this point in time. And flavor, like you rightly said, is an established act for him not to come out and say something about this. Mm. Well. Okay, moving on to the next story. I stopped paying tithes and nothing happened to my finances. This is coming from Uti Wanchuku. He said this in a, in a reaction to a comment from a social commentator on Twitter, Jamal, who said he did not spend December 31 last year in a church like he was raised to. Instead, he attended a Yemi Alade event at Central Park and went home to fornicate to his satisfaction. And so far, mm -hmm. 2019 has been so great. That's so yeah. extra, man. I mean, that, that, part, <laughs> that, part, that part 
got me, man. I went home to fornicate to my satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And so for 2019, mm. it's been so great. Um, different strokes for different folks. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we're brought up in religious settings where, you know, there's certain celebrations. For 2020 things. to be awesome, you have to be in the church That's it. the first you know, I mean, we, you know? we, We've been indoctrinated to make you realize that if at the end of the year, into a brand new year, you're not in the house of mm -hmm. God, you know, things might not get off smoothly for you in and the new year. And if you don't year. pay tight, your finances will go down. Yeah, I mean, things will be tight for mm -hmm. you. Um, most of these things are threats they, mm. they've used to condition our minds. You know, I'm not saying that people who do it genuinely, who, who don't, who do when they do it, they do it genuinely from a place of revere and reverence and love for their creator. But there was a point Uti made in one of, one of his tweets that think about it. As a father, you give your son 200 naira. Mm. And you're not coming back to tell your son, you know, from that 20 that I gave you, I need 10% from it. It doesn't make any sense. They've so made us believe that God is so money conscious. He's a money conscious God. He needs your money. Mm. You know, they tell you he doesn't need your money, oh, but if you give it to him, it's to your own good. That's just our mind games. No. It's you know, basically, I wouldn't even use the word you know, not needed because if yeah. you even go back to the Old Testament, it is needed to take care of the people in the church. In the Old Testament, there was no there was no money involved in taking care of people. There was yeah, the church you have to. Yeah. But at you the know, end of the day, we have grown past being over the land on agriculture, know, yeah. and then we so now have is physical it. currencies. So we tithe, need to put that tithe, into consideration. Tithe and tithing is alien to the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Completely alien. All right, and the master himself never made mention of tithe. The only time I know he said something about money was when they came and asked, to whom do your disciples pay tax to? And he came and said to you, so we don't offend these people, go to the river, the first fish that comes up, you're going to find money in that fish, and then pay, pay to Caesar what oh, is Caesar's Caesar. and mm. what's God to God. No mention of tithe. You know, so it's been, it's been a mind control stuff that they make you feel if you don't do some certain things, then God Almighty, the creator of the universe, who is so interested in your money, your Naira and Kobo, mm -hmm. will not make things or go off and dollars. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, anyway, so basically, sense. you are in support of Uti. Yes, I am. Ewa. Hey, for me, I mean, going to church does not really have anything to do with your life, like mm. you rightly said. It's just people, some people that's probably just from the stories and just tell you, if you do this, that's when you get this. If you do that, that's when you get I mean, Now, what of people that um, work on Sundays? Mm. Are you saying they won't get paid every at the end of the month mm -hmm. <laughs> because they didn't go to church? Mm. <laughs> it's just... Well, I, I know... You know what it even contradicts totally what they preach. You tell me that I've been blessed by the death and resurrection of what he did, mm -hmm. that he has given me everything. But you still come to tell me, for me to access what I've been given freely, mm -hmm. I still need to drop something. And if you um, really, I, mean, I feel like when it comes to um, religion, yeah, it's better you understand this thing yourself and don't let anybody explain to you. It's okay if you need um, knowledge from people that know better, but at the end of the day, reading the Bible and understanding it personally is what matters. Mm. From what I've read in the Bible, God didn't even ask you to come to church and give him any money. He said, buy things and eat in his house and you'll be happy. Okay. You I mean, will we, be we happy and, and then you keep tight, saying and thank religion, God. And I know we will not end, but mm. I'll just say do whatever makes you sleep well at night. If you think paying tight is the reason you're blessed and you believe it wholeheartedly, because most of them they tell you what you don't believe cannot harm you. So mm. if you believe tight is important for your growth, please do not stop. And if you believe you must be in church 31st of December, please, if you have to sleep in liver traffic <laughs> for 10 hours to get there, my dear, do it and be happy. It's all about you. So I think that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this important and interesting episode um, by subscribe to our YouTube channel, Applause TV Africa. And of course, you can watch all our exclusive content as well. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to my co-anchors, Ewalu Aritu and Benny Ak and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and be good.